pelvic floor myth number three. Kegels are always the answer. Now, they're actually not. As great as Kegels are, and Kegels really are pelvic floor strengthening exercises. I use them all the time, helping my clients learn how to properly activate their pelvic floor muscles. And they, of course, are essential to almost every treatment program. But they're not always the first go-to. And this is where sometimes people run into problems. And sometimes when people try to do Kegels, they're either maybe not doing them correctly, or maybe they shouldn't really be doing them at all. When shouldn't they be doing them? Really, it's when the muscles are too tight. And yes, pelvic floor muscles can become too tight. Think about it just like any other muscle group in the body. Hip flexors are probably a real, the best well-known um, comparison. Then when those muscles get tight, the last thing we would be thinking about would be strengthening them. We might want to strengthen the glutes, the, uh, you know, the opposite muscle group, but we probably want to stretch the hip flexors a little bit. So we don't want to, you know, strengthen tight, too tight pelvic floor muscles. It will not get the person anywhere. Um, so how does somebody know if their pelvic floor muscles are too tight? It's kind of a tough one. Sometimes if somebody's having intercourse and they have pain, discomfort with that, that will be kind of the first clue that maybe there's some muscles in there that are a little unhappy and they need to be tended to, hence released. So kegeling away those muscles is not going to help them. And so if somebody's leaking and they have too tight of muscles, they often have something what's called an urge incontinence rather than a stress incontinence. The stress incontinence is more when you're snaz sneezing, laughing, coughing, lifting, exerting yourself, running, and there's too much pressure exerted downwards onto the pelvic floor, and so there's leakage happening. Urge incontinence is the type where you find you're the sort of person you know every single bathroom in the neighborhood, you know where they are. If you go for a walk, you have to stop several times. You go way more often to the bathroom than what would be considered normal. So there's more of an urgency and a frequency and sometimes there's leakage with that because sometimes the urge is so great and you don't quite get to the bathroom. And oftentimes you were just there 20 minutes ago. So that's another issue and that tends to go hand in hand with tight muscles. Now those muscles, tight muscles, might still be weak, but they're definitely tight. We need to release them first. So the treatment would be completely opposite to Kegels. They would come later. So how, you know, what do you do from this point forward then? It's really the same answer all the time. You need to have somebody assess. So go see your pelvic floor physiotherapist, you know, Google online, phone the nearest physio clinic. They will let you know who the, you know, the nearest pelvic floor physio is in your neighborhood. Um, and of course in BC, we have bcphysio.org where you can find the physio in your neighborhood to help you have an assessment. You don't always have to go for lots and lots of treatments, but it can at least give you the answers you're looking for and what to do from there. And you will not have to live with those uncomfortable symptoms.